This video will cover how to purge propane from the fuel tank and remove the multi-valve on a Roush Cleantech propane auto gas powered vehicle, allowing internal components to be serviced. These procedures are specific to the Ford E-Series van and F-Series truck with the Generation 2 underbody fuel tank. This video can be used as a general reference for other Roush Cleantech propane fuel tanks in conjunction with the model specific instructions outlined in the vehicle service manual. Please follow the Roush service manual instructions for safely bleeding pressure from the fuel lines and removing the fuel tank from the vehicle. The fuel tank must be purged of propane before working on internal components. To empty the fuel tank, propane can be vented to atmosphere in a well-ventilated area. Other options may be available for transferring propane to another vessel or burning it through a propane flare. Be sure to follow the safety precautions and local ordinances when emptying propane tanks. Your local propane supplier can be a good resource for this procedure as well. This tank has been cut away to better display the internal components. When removing the multi-valve, use caution to ensure that there is no pressure remaining in the tank. Remove the 90 degree elbow and nut securing the multi-valve cover. Remove the cover to reveal the multi-valve. To remove the fuel fill line, secure the base of the elbow with a 7 8 crowfoot wrench or thin wrench, while loosening the connection. Remove the overpressure relief neck for better access. Using a quarter inch quick connect fuel line tool, remove the fuel return line. The lines along with the rubber grommet can be moved to the side. Pry off the C-clip and the supply solenoid can be lifted out. Carefully loosen the 10 5mm hex screws securing the multi-valve to the tank one turn. Then wiggle the multi-valve to ensure that no pressure remains in the tank. If the multi-valve still will not move, slowly continue to loosen the screws while occasionally checking the multi-valve. Once the multi-valve can move freely, remove all of the hex bolts. Carefully remove the multi-valve and ensure no wires are pulled or broken. Remove the quick connect fuel supply and return lines from the back of the multi-valve by depressing the tabs on the side of the connectors. The green tab indicates the supply line and the black tab is the return line. Make note of connector locations to aid in assembly. Position the multi-valve on the top side of the port using caution that it does not fall. In-tank components can now be serviced through the access hole.